Hi, my name is Mr. Jackie and I'm here to talk to you about Introduction to Statistics. It's a CCP course that we take here at Hillsborough High School. And on to the slides. So Introduction to Statistics is a one semester course. It's taken typically after you take finite math, but I've had people join statistics uh, just second semester because they discovered that they need it for their program that they're going to go into. Again, it's a CCP course, College Credit Plus course that we offer here at the high school. Um, I've had people uh, not take statistics in high school and then they have to take it at a college and then a lower level statistics course like this will be offered online. So you have to do it kind of on your own instead of being with a teacher. So that's the big advantage of taking this class is you're with a experienced teacher that, that can help you understand the basics of statistics. Again, this is just the basics of statistics. We, we learn enough statistics to be dangerous in the world. So what is statistics? Well, here's how I teach it. Population versus sample, parameter versus statistics. P goes with P, S goes with S. So statistics are related to samples. Samples are a smaller part of the population. So population would be everything, like all of Ohio. Okay, so all of Ohio. And if I wanna know information about all of Ohio, I gotta take a sample. So a sample is part of Ohio. All right, so if I wanna know about voting or something like that, I, it's hard to talk to every voter in Ohio, so I just take part of the people of Ohio and I ask them a question like, who are you voting for? So a statistic is a number that's related to the part of Ohio. Parameters are numbers that are related to all of Ohio. So one of the numbers that we talk about is the mean. Well, what is mean? Mean is the average. Okay, so it's the average, like you could talk about the average uh, height in Ohio, the average shoe size, the average amount of money that people make, um, the, what, what is the person, what's the part of the people that are going to vote for somebody in Ohio? What's, what's the, what are, the, what are they going to do? So again, so statistics are numbers associated with a sample. A sample is just part of the bigger thing and parameters are the numbers. So you can have a, a mean for the population. So you can have a, a population mean, that would be a parameter. You can have a, a um, sample mean, that would be a statistic. So that's what, that's what we do is we, we can't go out, again, we can't really go out and talk to everybody. Um, so we, we, we have these statistics. Statistics is heavily related in probability. So if you've done finite math, you've done probability, well, guess what? In statistics, we go through uh, probability again, but we really emphasize probability distributions. And there's probability distributions that can be um, continuous or they can be discrete. And we talk about the difference of those. We, of course, we got the binomial distribution, um, the normal distribution, all the different probability distributions out there. And we, we go through those in a lot of detail. Uh, confidence intervals. Confidence intervals are like, how confident are we that we are, we are right in our situation? So if we go out and we take a sample and we say that you know 65% are gonna vote for uh, candidate A, right? Then we would say we are, we are plus or minus 3%. So we have a, we think 65% are going to vote for candidate A, but we say we're plus or minus 3%. That's how, in that we are, we're going to be confident um, that it's going to be in that range. So it could be as low as 62%. It could be as, as high as 68%. So statistics allows us to come up with this margin of error here. And that's how confident we are that a situation is going to happen. The last topic in statistics is uh, hypothesis testing, where we create um, a null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis. But this was related to research studies. Um, my own my own daughter uh, looks at research studies to figure out whether um, 
a, a, a different kind of strategy works with children that have like speech issues because um, that's what she does is she's a speech therapist so they they do um, like a, a science experiment and then they come up with a probability that says whether um, the the research was effective or not effective and there's a probability associated with that a hypothesis testing another way to look at it is like in terms of a, a court of law you basically say that somebody is innocent right so you you say they are you know not they are innocent they didn't do the crime and then what and then what happens is you present evidence to reject their innocence so what's the alternative to being innocent well they're they're found guilty and they get some kind of punishment for it so again statistics is a class we teach here um, it it really makes you think differently about the world and the way we live and the way we think and it answers the question what is what are people thinking about and we can kind of go out and sample them and, and then do these surveys and, and figure out what people are thinking or how they feel about different situations. And we can be confident uh, in our findings. So, and, it, and we also have a probability associated with all of those findings, whether it's in research or whatever. So again, probability is governing what we do in statistics. And hopefully you um, get something out of it and you take that out into the world.